Why is she not publishing a quality impact assessment? This is what her government would be focused on if they were serious about ending structural racism. Instead, they have published a shoddy point-scoring polemic which ignores evidence and does not represent the country that I know and love. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. It's quite clear that the Honourable Lady did not read the statement which I sent to her in advance and clearly did not listen to it as I read it out in the House. She is clearly determined to create a divisive atmosphere around race in this House and in this country, and we will not stand for it. We continue to push for a fairer Britain for levelling up. They continue to look for division. They continue to stoke culture wars and then claim that we are the ones fighting them. I completely reject all of the assertions that she has made, many of them false, many of them hypocritical. Whose party is it that has been determined institutionally racist by the Equality and Human Rights Commission? It's not my party, it's hers. She is the one, along with many of her colleagues, who are complaining about their own Ford inquiry and claiming that their party has anti-black racism. Why don't they look at resolving the problems in their own house instead of trying to spread it around the rest of the country? I will acknowledge some of the issues um, which she has, uh, some of the questions which she has raised, and I will seek to answer them. She asks who wrote the report. The commissioners wrote the report. That is because they were independent. It is simply not true to claim that other people wrote the report. They have put statements on the... Mr Deputy Speaker, I'm afraid I can't even hear myself speak because of the Honourable Member for Brent. It would be nice for her to stop uh, heckling from a sedentary position. Her mouth is covered and I can't even hear what she's saying. If we look at the statements that they have made on the website, gov.uk, the commissioners have been united, they have not broken ranks, they have not chosen to dissociate themselves from the report. The only thing that ha is happening is that Labour members in particular continue to misrepresent what is happening. Why, for instance, will she not condemn the racist abuse faced by the commissioners? Why will she not condemn her own uh, member, the, uh, the, her own colleague, the member for Norwich, uh, Norwich South, who put pictures of the KKK in response to the commissioners? Does she think that that is appropriate behaviour? It is the subject of a standards uh, commission complaint. We should go back to the substance of what this report is saying, rather than continuing to try and slander the people who have written it. These are professionals, distinguished individuals who gave up their time, and I commend them for their work. I'm very proud of it, and of course we will not be withdrawing the report. It is quite clear that today's Labour Party is functionally enumerate and does not like to see statistics and evidence. So rather than focus on the numbers and the data, they run away, they just want to continue having discussions on racism, which is where they think they are strong. But I'm afraid, Mr Deputy Speaker, they are not strong on this issue. We will not sit back and allow divisive rhetoric, misrepresentation to be the story on race. We are determined to create a positive national conversation about this issue based on facts and evidence, fraternity and fairness, not based on nonsensical accusations. So I reject her assertions. We will not be, we will not be uh, withdrawing the report. We will be looking to see what recommendations we take forward. The government still has not provided its response. But there are many issues around uh, structural inequality which we want to have dealt with. However, re I will reiterate this. Just because there is a disparity does not mean that discrimination is the cause. If we continue to identify discrimination right from the beginning without looking at the root cause, we will continue to offer solutions that do not improve the situation. So I'm very, very happy again to commend the Commissioners, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, and I reject the Honourable Lady's uh, very divisive rhetoric and assertions in the House today.